Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video is about tights and specifically nude colored tights and why you should be wearing them in winter. We're also going to cover how to style them. So if you've been subscribed to my channel, which you should be, you know that I love and I always talk about wearing tights in winter. Tights have been my go-to most warm garment. And when I created my most worn items of 2021 video last week, I ended up deciding that tights actually deserved its whole own separate video. So I'm going to break the video up into two parts. One is the reasons why you should wear them and two, how to style them. So part one, why you should be wearing tights. Reason number one is that they don't disrupt an outfit. How many times have you been looking in your closet and you've thought, oh, I can't wear this outfit because I would be too cold and it's winter time. And then you're like, okay, I could wear tights with it. I could wear black tights. And then you put them on and it like completely changes the look of the outfit. Or maybe the dress or the skirt just isn't the type of color of fabric that matches with black tights. This completely solves that problem. And by the way, when I'm saying nude tights, I'm not saying like a specific color, like this, these are my tights here. I'm not saying everybody wear this specific color of tights. What I mean is the pair of nude color tights that are your skin tone so that they basically match and you're warm, but you look like you're not even necessarily wearing tights. Also, if you happen to have a more girly kind of color palette in your wardrobe, in your style where you like to wear a lot of neutrals, whites, maybe pinks that wouldn't necessarily go with black tights, then this also solves that problem. Reason number two is because they make your legs look good. You can really show off your legs by just wearing a nude colored pair of tights because it just, again, looks like your own legs and you don't have to be as covered up in the winter time. These are the tights that I wear and I would say this technically might be a shade a little bit darker. So in that case, they actually make me look a little bit more tan. So if you wear tights, you can get your own skin tone or say um, if you're really pale like me, you can go up one shade and it suddenly looks like you have a tan without having to use like self tanners that are smelly and they like rub off and everything. It's genius, I think. Also, if you are someone that wants to cover up imperfections, and I am not in any way saying that anyone needs to or has to feel like they have to, I think we should all feel beautiful in our own bodies. But if, say, for some reason, you wanted to cover up like a scar or a bruise or anything like that, again, it just looks like your own legs. So I kind of think of it as the clothing equivalent of, you know that Sally Hansen leg makeup that everyone used to get at the drugstore? It's kind of like a better version of that in a way. And it keeps you warmer. I keep coming back to like, it keeps you warm, but you still look good. That's kind of the main idea here. <laughs> Reason number three, and I feel like I've kind of covered on this already, is that they allow you to wear your favorite dresses and skirts in winter and still stay warm. A cute mini skirt? No problem. A sweater dress, but I need my legs to be warm? No problem. I'm going to wear a mini skirt with the little high boots? Again, warmer and no problem. <laughs> Reason number four is that they're actually totally classic. Back in the 80s and 90s, women used to wear pantyhose or like nylons, these leg colored tights where they would wear with their like skirts. Think of like women going to work or and maybe a little bit more of a dressed up setting. Women really did used to wear these and somewhere along the line in the 2000s, we stopped. But with the trends coming back from the 90s and more vintage style, I kind of feel like this is one that we should bring back too because it's so practical and versatile and it looks good and it's warm. Another reason why it's classic is look at the Rockettes in well, obviously they're dancers and so they're wearing tights, but there's a scene, for example, where they're wearing this beautiful, very uh, feminine, classy, sophisticated jacket and they're walking around as if they're in New York City. They're wearing nude colored tights, probably these exact, this exact brand and these exact ones. It's just, 
I don't know, I feel like especially if you want a, like a sophisticated kind of classy look and you don't want to be wearing jeans, although that, you know, I get it that, that that's fine too, but in the scenario, if you didn't, if you wanted to do something different, then a good option. Kind of if you look at figure skaters, dancers, they all wear these types of tights. I was a dancer for 18 years and so that's where the inspiration came from for me. I have kept my Capizio tights and I absolutely love them and so when I was getting ready a couple winters ago and I was like oh I really really want to wear this skirt but I don't want to wear black tights with it. I just pulled out my dance tights and I was like like, why isn't this more of a thing? And like, this used to be, why did we, you know, why can't we do it now? And so the last couple years, I've been wearing this nonstop in the winter time. And so I just want to pass the information along to anybody else who has faced a similar scenario and wants another option. All right, if you're not convinced yet, hopefully reason number five will. And the reason number five is because they are comfortable. Especially if you're wearing a loose fitting dress or like a loose, more like stretchy elastic skirt, that with a pair of tights is so much more comfortable than a pair of pants or jeans. It actually feels like you are wearing sweatpants. It gives you the same amount of movement. When I'm say going over to Lyle's house or I'm, you know, we're just gonna be sitting on the couch watching a movie or something, I would so much rather wear a pair of tights with like a comfortable skirt than I would to wear a pair of jeans over to his house because it's so much more comfortable. Even if I'm just sitting at home, like even if I'm not even leaving the house, I would rather grab a pair of tights and a skirt. Like I'll show you the type of skirt that I mean when I do the how to style, but it, like, yeah, once you try it, you're like, yeah, it is so much more comfortable. And then the last final reason, reason number six, is because actually, if you want, they can be slimming. A lot of tights these days are made with a control top, so kind of similar to that security feeling that a pair of Spanx gives you or a pair of like good high-waisted pants gives you, tights gives you that same feeling. So in the winter time, instead of layering on another pair of Spanx on top of everything, you can pair, find a pair of tights, like nude tights, that does the same thing and has that thicker band at the top. Or even without the thicker band, if you get like the Capizio tights, for example, or even the sheer tex ones that, that I've worn as well, they do also have like a thicker band and it does help. Now moving on to part two is how to style the tights. The first thing when you're buying a pair is to think about what kind of tights are they? Because not all tights are exactly the same. The key is to look for tights that are thick and strong and that are going to last and keep you warm. Kind of like all sweaters aren't the same. There's some that are cashmere, there's some that are wool, there's some that are a thicker material, a thinner material, some that are polyester and they all kind of have a different level of warmth. Tights are also have a couple of different names. There's stockings, nylons, pantyhose, obviously tights. Generally, tights are thicker than pantyhose. Pantyhose are typically the thinnest. Those are the ones that you would buy, say, at the drugstore and they're pretty cheap and they rip almost immediately. You don't wanna go for those ones. Stockings are generally synonymous with tights. A lot of times they are thicker and and sometimes they can come either footed or non-footed tight. This is an example of footed tights. There is a hole in the bottom here, so you can actually slip your foot through that, and that's because these are the Capizio dance tights, but I actually found a funny example that these were really useful when trying on shoes while shoe shopping. I was a couple weeks ago in December with my friend and we were trying on shoes <laughs> at Bergdorf Goodman. We were having a fancy day around the holidays and I kept trying on shoes and I was like, hmm, I wish I could see what these looked like. Maybe not with the tights and or how they fit just on my actual foot. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm wearing footed tights. And so I just pulled up the hole and I was able to just try it on with my actual foot. And so that's like, an awesome hack or if say you're at home and you just don't like walking around on tights and you like having bare, bare feet I don't know so everyone has a different preference you can easily just you know 
pull them up from the bottom. So I've linked my favorite two types of tights down in the description box, Capizio and Sheertex. Capizio are my tried and true. Those are the ones that you guys are seeing me wear most often. They are dance tights. I have that the, the dancer roots. In my opinion, these are just some of the best tights. And then I also have sheer tacks, which are considered actually technically the strongest tights on the market. You could put an entire like 20 pound dumbbell through them and they still wouldn't rip. <laughs> They've done all these crazy like tests, like videos where they showed that the tights just cannot break. So if you want a good pair of tights that like for the value that are going to last you a long time, also check out the sheer tax. So it depends on whatever your preference is. I will say that the sheer tax has more options as well for the control top versus the Capizio, which is more of technically a dance tight. Uh, Capizio at the top has this band. So it's not that thick, but I do find that this does provide some sort of control also as well, so it is also helpful. As you might know, Sheertex tights are more of an expensive price range, but they did actually just release a pair of a more affordable tights, so that's also another good option. So now that we've talked so much about why to wear tights, how to style them, I'm going to actually show you some examples of how to style them and how I actually would recommend wearing these out and about in your day-to-day -day, in winter time even when it's cold all right so outfit number one of course a pair of nude tights these are the Capizio ones I love them then a comfortable skirt this one is from Zara I wear it so much it also has shorts underneath so that's a huge win but the point is that it has a stretchy waistband skirt so this outfit is super comfortable I'd pair it with any sweater. This one is a white mock neck from And Other Stories. And then for shoes, I've paired this with these brown faux suede knee-high boots. I love this outfit because it's so comfortable, but you'd never know it. And I'd wear this to work during the week or just casually on the weekends running errands or shopping in Soho. we are again starting with new tights of course and then here's an example of a sweater dress especially ones that are neutral colors tend to look good with new tights and then I've paired that with these little off-white colored lace-up ankle booties which are super cute for fall and winter Outfit number three, of course, starting with tights. This is a pretty classic tailor outfit. Uh, a beige mini skirt. This one is from Zara and it has shorts underneath, so I love it. And it also ties into a bow in the front. Pair that with any sweater. Here I chose a pink sweater, but just any sweater. And then a cute pair of booties. Here I did the outfit with the same ankle booties, but really any pair of boots will work. that this video was useful i hope that you enjoyed it if you did definitely don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay